Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on the lightsaber deflection, blaster deflection, right here. Uh, I just want to say a few things. I said no plugins on the video that I uploaded, but uh, it's not entirely true. Um, I used one plugin called VC Color Vibrance, but it's free, so it's it's already cool. So go ahead and install that. I put a link in the description. Um, also, you're gonna want to go and follow um, Video Copilot's Shockwave tutorial. I have the stock footage, but if you can't afford it, then go ahead and follow the tutorial. It's really really good, and you can make it inside After Effects. Also, I'm not gonna be showing you how to make the lightsaber. There are plenty of tutorials on how to do that on YouTube, so go check that out. And once you have your base footage, you can begin. Right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to drop in our shockwave effect and the one that you made. So I'm just going to drop it in there and we're going to set this to add. And it's quite slow, so I think I'm going to speed it up. Let's go to time, time stretch. Set this to 25, seems about right, yeah. And wherever you want it to collide, wherever you want the blast to collide, it's just gonna drop it right there. So I reckon, boom, that's cool. And then you're just gonna position it wherever you want the blast to hit. I think here is fine. Okay, it's not facing the right way, so I want the blast to come down about there. So it's gonna collide here. So our shock wave, we're gonna turn it into a 3D layer. Go to rotation. And then on Y rotation, we're just gonna turn it like that. There you go, that's fine. And also gonna make it face a little bit up. So just like that, all right. So now we're gonna add our Color Vibrance from Video Copilot. Thank you, Andrew Kramer. And then we're just gonna turn this into an orange, orangey color. There you go. Right, now we're gonna duplicate this. And on this layer, we're gonna add a glow. A glow. And here, I'm gonna set the radius to something like 150, there you go, that's nice. Uh, maybe take down the intensity a little bit, maybe 0.6. And we're gonna duplicate this once more. Um, set the intensity to one, and push that up a bit, about 700. There you go. And then we're gonna duplicate the glow again. Final glow. Definitely bring the intensity down, something like 0.5, and set the glow to max, the radius to max. All right, so I've gone ahead and pre-composed the shockwave um, and then set it to add. And now I'm gonna create a new solid for our blaster. I'm gonna call this blaster. Make sure it's white. Make comp size, click OK, hide it. Then I'm just gonna draw this shape quickly the blaster shape. I'm just gonna go right here. I'm gonna select this and I'm gonna drag it just there. Rotate it a bit. And there we go. So we're gonna go press M, click on mask path, and then we're going to animate it. So I'm just gonna go backwards, back, and then here. All right, I'm gonna turn that on. Cool, so we have this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna duplicate this layer four times, so one, two, three, four. First one, we're gonna make the feather one, Second one, we're gonna make it 10, 30, uh, 60, and 120, just like that. Don't forget to um, trim it, make it disappear. There you go, so boom. 
boom. Yeah, I'm gonna put a solid black background in for our bolt. So I'm just gonna call this BG. I'm gonna drag it underneath these guys like that, and then I'm just gonna pre-compose it as blaster with all the attributes. There you go. Now you can click screen. So I think I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna use color balance. I'm gonna turn up the red highlights, just like that. Midtones and the shadows. There you go. All right. Now I think what I'm also gonna do is I'm gonna add a radial fast blur. Fast blur. There you go. And where the bolt hits the lightsaber is where I'm going to put the center, just like that, a little bit behind it. So here, I'm just going to turn this up ever so slightly. Gives it a bit of a bit of blur, so it looks like it's flying through the air. That's pretty cool. All right, so. What we're going to do here is we're going to add a bit of glow to this. And that's a bit too much, hey? I'm going to turn the radius up just like that. I'm going to duplicate it once more. So about there. Let's bring the intensity down a bit. All right, and I'm going to duplicate it again. On this one, I'm going to make it intensity again, set it to one. Set the spread to about there. There you go. All right, so that's about it for our blaster. So now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to add some smoke. I'm going to go to my project files, and I'm going to go to look for my. What I did was I actually used a blood mist effect because I couldn't actually find any smoke effects. Um, and then we're just going to drop that over there. And if you look in here, it's red which is kind of a problem because we want smoke. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a curves effect. Curves. And over here in the highlights, I'm going to, I am going to, just so you can see, I'm going to bring that all the way up like that. Now it looks like smoke. Pretty cheap, I know, but um, it's the kind of stuff you got to do. You can actually set it to add. And we also need to place it properly. So nice, you see, there you go. Just gonna drop that there. And I'm keeping it on add, but I'm just gonna bring the opacity down a little bit, just like that. So that is our smoke. Okay, so now I'm gonna add some distortion, some heat in the middle there. What I'm going to do, create a new adjustment layer. And I'm just going to call this heat. Now I'm going to apply the turbulent displace effect. <coughs> so I want my displacement to start about there. OK. Cool. I'm just going to put one frame behind. I'm going to turn that on. I'm going to turn the size down to something like 23. The amount, the amount, I'll keep it like, I'll keep it at like probably 59, 72. Okay, that's cool. Actually, maybe I'll go a bit up because I'm going to put a mask around here. So let's just do that quickly. So now that's there. Looks very cut off, so I'm just gonna go here and look at the edges here. See that line, that crease? Gross. So I'm just gonna feather it out like that. And it's less harsh on the eyes. I'm gonna go to the amount, click on stopwatch, I'm gonna set this to zero. And then as we get about here, I'm gonna make it nice. Like that. That's pretty cool. And then I'm going to go out to 
zero. So it's gonna look a little bit bad now, but I'm gonna animate the mask so it doesn't go over my arm that much. So mask. If we look at it now, it's going to render it quickly. Nice. But I'm not done with it. So I'm going to go to the evolution. I'm going to alt click on it. Open up the expressions tab. I'm going to type in time times 100. There you go. So now the evolution will animate like that. And that is our distortion. So right here, one would think that this collision would cause or cast a lot of light in our environment. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I go right here, copy this. This is just, um, this base layer is just the, the base footage. So I'm gonna copy it and I'm gonna paste it right here, right above like that. And I'm going to set this to add. I'm just going to sync this up quickly. So now this is really, really bright. So I'm just going to bring it down. So upon collision, I think right here, it's going to be about, about there, I reckon. I'm going to put the stopwatch on. Right there, I want to punch it up quite a bit. And then right here, I'm going to set it quite high. Okay, a few frames about there. I think that's about two frames, one, two. Add another keyframe, and then about here is where I'm gonna set it to zero. So now I'm gonna add some sparks. I'm gonna go get my sparks effect, spark footage. I'm gonna drop it right there. There you go, that's what I want. I'm just gonna scale this up just like that. I'm gonna set this to add. All right, slow sparks, just gonna, so boom, okay, there you go. So I can't actually see my sparks and I kind of do want to see them. So I'm going to bring them about there, maybe scale them up a bit, just like, there you go. I think I'm anyway actually just going to quickly mask this out a bit. Just like that. So it's not cut off at the bottom there, because that doesn't look very nice. I think I might also draw another mask, just like that. Uh, I think I'm going to animate this one. And set it to subtract, and I'm also going to feather it just a tiny bit. I'm going to go into my mask path. Now I am just going to animate this here. I'm gonna take the mask off like that, Let's see if this works. So the marks, sparks kind of look like they push out. I feel like I can't see the sparks. I still can't see them that well. So I'm gonna duplicate this and maybe set it to 60. There you go. So now it just looks a little more dominant. Uh, it's, quite, it's quite sharp though. So I'm gonna pick on pose these sparks. I'm gonna call them sparks left. Set this to add, of course. I'm just gonna trim this up to there. So what I'm gonna add is I'm gonna add a fast blur legacy and then just to look at these sparks I feel like they're quite harsh so I'm just gonna set it to three so it doesn't look like they're kind of dominating the entire environment so now we're gonna make some sparks on the right so I'm just gonna drag this in set it to add I'm just gonna move this I could start the sparks about there Again, I'm going to draw a mask. 
just like that. Cool. That's cool. I think I'm actually just gonna cheat here. I'm just gonna rotate it like that. See, that looks, that doesn't look too bad. Uh, yeah, I'm actually gonna scale this up. It's quite small. There you go. Got some nice sparks on the right there. I feel like I can pull it out a bit. All right. Then we have this problem again. So I'm gonna get, take a mask, just like that. I'm gonna press M and set it to subtract and add some feathering. Always add feathering. Now we're gonna animate this mask. Okay, so drag it out. Now again, I'm just gonna duplicate this and then I'm gonna press T on the keyboard to bring down the opacity a little bit. There you go. Just, uh, you can just see a little more, it's quite nice. Select these two, pre-compose and slow sparks left. There you go. Slow sparks right, I am retarded. Okay, I can set this to add. And then I'm gonna go over here. I'm also gonna add a fast blur. Let's take a look here and then too much. One, two, there you go. There we go, sparks on both sides. By the way, I forgot to mention that your heat adjustment layer should be above your sparks because you want that distortion to affect the sparks as well. See, there you go. Um, the final thing you wanna do is add an adjustment layer, radial fast blur. And what I like to do with this is I like to use it as kind of an impact distortion. Radial, radial fast blur, there we are. And I'm gonna position this right here at our impact. So I'm just gonna trim this. So from the moment it hits, which is there, I'm just gonna make the amount, let's just keep it at zero for now. Click the stopwatch. Set this to something like something like 15. So you have a bit of impact. So I'm actually gonna animate my um, center with the lightsaber. So here, I mark 21. We're gonna go one frame ahead. We're gonna make this quite hectic. Something like that. Just to give it a nice punch. And then here you can start bringing it down to zero. All right, so you're done. This is the complete effect. Nice. All right, so thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please drop a like and a sub. If you have any questions, go ahead and ask me in the comments below. And yeah, have a good one.